Hello everyone, I am Bogmod and we are playing Hitman Absolution. So, I was playing a little bit last uh, last time and I figured out something something important. Um, basically, I'm going to have to make a choice to how to kill that one gentleman. Either I eliminate him with the exploding hair loss cure formula, or... or So either or I use the lightning gun, and I want to use the lightning gun. So that's what we're gonna do. Play that. Just because I had to start it to new. Got the safety code now. So we see the lightning gun or an exploding mine. But you know, you know we're going to do the lightning gun. So let's just, uh, you know, admire a moment while we wait for the dear doctor to come on down. Giant lightning gun. This will be perfect. So upstairs there is a Yeah, there he is. Checking out the formula. And then he'll come over to get uh, a little bit uh, a little bit crispy. A little toasty. A little well done, if you will. And then I just gotta go from there to kill the guy farther down. Uh, yeah, he should be easy. Probably won't be as as wonderfully dramatic, but uh, yeah, you can't have everything. Yes, yes, come, 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 closer, closer, ever closer to your unwitting doom. Each step is one last step in your lifetime. How does it feel, Doctor, to know you're about to die? <laughs> Poor Raymond Valentine. And then he goes and he, he turns things off. But wait. But wait. If only there was someone who could turn things back on. Hmm? Yes? Yes? Yes. And... Aww. That was tragic. My, God, what <laughs> My God, what did happen? I don't know, gentlemen. Certainly nothing for me. I'm someone else completely. <laughs> yeah, everything is secure. No one's gonna get through. Yep, not a one. Yep, the bridge is up. You can move the cargo. Yeah. All right, now we got this other doctor to deal with. That's fine. Hide up behind these screens. Oh, they're all worried about the girl, eh? Activate robot arm. Oh, I bet if the, the guy comes over. Yes, yes, I heard about how he got his muscles. Oh, the children, the children! Hmm. I wouldn't mind a lollipop. <laughs> you knew you were signing up from the illegal biotech, blah, 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 blah. Come over here, good doctor. 
I want to kill you with a robot arm. Air Doctor. Damn it, Doctor. Why won't you come closer? Closer where you need to go to die. Don't you need to check out these poor guys? Alright, you're gonna go check that out on the guy. Good, good. And then you can come over and check this guy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, yes. Look at your data little pad. Yes, yes. Come closer. I hope this robotic arm will kill him. It's like clob him in the head or something. Well, this would be rather silly, just standing here, watching. Maybe if it activate it to get his attention? Well, let's wait. Yes. It's not like we're... it's costing us money. Hmm. Yes, Doctor. People in attached to weird veiny tubey things. Right to the knee? Hmm. Alright, well, let's. I'm gonna try the robot arm. Okay, well, it, it got a random guy's attention. Hmm. Not the person I want. Alright, well, let's see if we can get get over to the doctor over there. Just sneak past these guys. There. You think you can manage? Call me when the subject no! Oh, well. I'm glad he didn't notice that behind him. <laughs> That's... Oh, and he just, he just turns around to miss it. Oh, that's priceless. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. Perfect. The horrible drill. I'm kind of curious. I want to see what they're looking at over here. Hello, sir. Hmm. Brains. Bodies. Oh, it's Victoria's brain. <laughs> Feel free to shove me. No, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> it was all lies. Now then. I feel like the screens that keep flashing like this is a sign of a bad connection. You'd think with their money they could invest. Hmm, spines, hands, lungs. Oh. Cigarettes. It's a lot of cigarettes. Alright, come on, doctor. You are needed for your checkup. I've enjoyed this game. I've been told by people that this is not one of the better Hitman games. I don't know. I'm having fun with it. Seems fun. Um, the chair been recalibrated. Plenty of chances. The dosage was too strong. No point in killing these people before we can monitor the effect. It's true. Never mind. I'll do it myself. Yes, there we go. I, know, I like this game. I think it has... Uh, Eh, let's just hey, what, what are you doing, doing you fool? Huh? Not while I'm in here. Hey! Ah! Well, he's just been surgeried. Well, everyone's killed. Yes. Yes. Yes, an accident. Just bad luck. 
All right, well, let's let's start sneaking. Hmm. What's going on here? It was a tragic accident. As I quickly hide behind the screen, what's who's left? Who's left? I guess we go over there next. All right. Hello, sir. Excuse me. I want to push you. Call the bridge. Yes. Two wonderfully gruesome deaths. None of that snap their necks and hide them behind a desk thing today. No, no, no. We're making things classy. And loud. Don't worry, Victoria. I've almost murdered everyone in my way that I knew about somehow. I knew they'd done things to you. Terrible things. But I'm coming. There we are. Um. Oh no, she's been moved! What have they done to her? going on here. On the surface, the subject is an ordinary teenage girl. But initial test results prove uh, unusual. I take caution to avoid drawing premature conclusions. I will have to await the results of the DNA analysis. The subject exceeds my wildest expectations. Her stats are unlike anything I've ever seen. Apart from the feeble work of Dr. Ortmeier, none have attempted human genetic manipulation on this scale. My own work on the Mexican Sanchez is feeble by comparison. We are groping in the dark. Hmm. I must admit I find it hard to maintain a scientific distance. This, this is an opportunity I've dreamed of my entire life. I only fear that Blake Dexter will sell the girl off to the highest bidder instead of investing the proper time to develop her abilities and all. He is a narrow-minded, short-term individual with limited interest in true scientific endeavor. I must derive what information I can while I still have a chance. Hmm. The contents of this lab could already be worth untold millions. Sorry, Doctor. You were talking about scientific value, and then you went on about mentold millions. Anyways, so, Victoria is a super soldier. Tragically, there's going to be a little accident in the laboratory. Oh, How terrible. And we just got the other one to sabotage. And... Eh, eh, there we go. Well, Doctor... No information for you today. Alright. Now, where is she? Okay! I think things are pretty good. Uh, I do want to see how the exploding baldness cure went, but uh, in this playthrough it ends up not being contaminated. So, hopefully, 47 can look forward to a life with hair. I believe in you, buddy. Thanks everyone for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll actually get to Victoria next time, or maybe face off with the the big man, or just kill that man in white.